Okay, so today we are looking into a very interesting sequence. It is nested with all these roots of tree, as you can see here. And uh, we are asking ourselves whether this sequence of numbers is convergent. And we are having root of tree here and so on. So we are having here the root of tree and then adding always the root of tree and so on. We are doing this n times and this before we start, we have a note here, convergence criteria. This is very useful in order to prove that a sequence is convergent. And in order to do so, one can try to prove that the sequence is bounded first. And then one can prove that the sequence is monotonic, meaning it's either monotonic increasing or monotonic decreasing. So in case both statements are valid, we can conclude that the sequence is indeed convergent. So let's start. And we can rewrite this sequence as follows. So we can have a recursive definition of the sequence where xn plus 1 is defined as 3 plus xn. And our anchor point x0 is root of 3. So you can check it. Indeed, this sequence exactly reflects the above sequence from our task here. And firstly, let's look into whether the sequence is bounded. So the first statement of our criteria here. And let's claim that the sequence is always smaller than 6. Let's try to prove it for all natural numbers from n. Let's do it by induction. So the base case is trivial because the root of 3 is smaller than 6. So the base case is done. Inductive case. So assume xk is smaller than 6. We want to prove that xk plus 1 is always smaller than 6 in this case. So xk plus 1 equals from our definition here just 3 plus xk. And as we know from our assumption in this inductive case here, xk is smaller than 6. So we can estimate this to something bigger, namely root of 3 plus 6. And this is exactly root of 9, which equals 3. And 3 is also smaller than 6. So inductive case is also done. We proved that it that in case xk is smaller than 6, xk plus 1 must also be smaller than 6. And this proves that xn, our original sequence, is always smaller than 6, meaning it's bounded by 6 by above. So regarding the second statement of our criteria, we want to prove that xn is monotonic increasing. So the guess can be seen here. Um, we always have the root of 3 and adding positive numbers on them. You can see that the second element of xn, x1, is bigger than square root of 3 because we have square root of 3 plus root of 3, which is bigger than root of 3. So our guess is that xn plus 1 is bigger xn for all natural numbers. And I think you can already guess it. We would like to prove this statement again by induction. So base case is x1 is root of 3 plus root of 3 and this is indeed bigger than root of 3 because we are having root of 3 and adding some other positive number here to the root and root function itself is strictly monotonic increasing. So we have x1 is bigger than x0. So inductive case. Assume xk plus 1 is bigger than xk for k from the natural numbers. Then xk plus 2, which is per definition, root of 3 plus xk plus 1 
is bigger. And now we are using the fact that xk plus 1 is bigger than xk. We can estimate this term to something smaller, namely 3 plus xk. So we are exchanging xk plus 1 with xk. And uh, this term here is exactly, per definition, xk plus 1. So we are just having here, this is the fact that xk plus 2 is bigger than xk plus 1, which per induction proves the statement xn plus 1 is always bigger than xn for all natural numbers. So using our convergence criteria, we now know that the sequence xn is converging against some number. But if we know that xn is converging to some number, we can make use of the following trick. So we have xn plus 1 equals root of 3 plus xn. And as we know, there is a limit of the sequence. And both xn plus 1 as a sequence and xn are converging to the same limit. Yeah, so if n goes to infinity here and here, and let's call our limit x, then we have x equals root of 3 plus x. And this can be solved easily using well-known formulas. And you are getting two solutions, namely x1 and 2 are 1 and a half plus minus root of one and a half squared plus three. As one of these solutions is negative, this cannot be our solution, this cannot be our limit, because the sequence is always bigger than zero, you can see it easily. So it's just a positive solution, which is just x, equals 1 over 2 plus this root. So I hope this video was useful to you. All the things you learned here can be applied to a lot of recursive defined sequences. Um, proof by induction is your best friend here. And if you would like to see more videos like this in the future, hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, comment the video and see you next time.